students let's now learn about bases we have already learned something about bases before but let's quickly revise what are bases bases are those chemical substances which have a bitter taste so bases are those chemical substances which have a bitter taste let's study something more about bases base which is soluble in water is called an alkali so remember student base which is soluble in water is called an alkali for example sodium hydroxide that is naoh potassium hydroxide that is koh calcium hydroxide that is caoh twice the next base that is ammonium hydroxide which is nh4oh and magnesium hydroxide that is mgoh twice now all these bases are soluble in water therefore they are called alkali let's learn something more about these bases what do all the bases have in common the way we have learned for acid let's now learn for base we take an example for example we have naoh that is sodium hydroxide when we dissolve the sodium hydroxide in water it splits up into na plus and oh minus so we say that the sodium hydroxide is a base because it dissolves in water to produce hydroxide ions so we confirm that naoh is a base now what is else what are we going to learn about this naoh like in aoh we have another base which is koh now when koh is dissolved in water it also splits into k plus and oh minus so if you compare these two reactions oh minus ions are common so now let's say something about koh potassium hydroxide is a base again we confirm when we dissolve in water it also gives hydroxide ions so now my dear students let's define it substance which when dissolved in water when it gives oh minus ions such substances are bases or we call them as base something else about base which we've already learned for strong acid let's now learn for what is strong base the bases which give more number of hydroxyl ions in aqueous solutions are called strong bases for example naoh and koh they are the strong bases now similar to strong base we have to learn this dissociation reaction naoh when it dissolve in water it splits into na plus and oh minus now this naoh gets completely ionized on dissolving in water to produce a large amount of oh ions therefore it is called as a strong base let's go ahead and learn about weak base weak same like weak acid we have now weak base the bases which gives less number of hydroxyl ions in aqueous solution are called weak bases for example nh4oh and it is also called as ammonium hydroxide now when this ammonium hydroxide dissolve in water it gives ammonium ions that is nh4 plus and oh minus let's learn about this nh4oh gets partially ionized in water and thus produce small amount of oh minus ions now because it is producing small amount of oh minus ions dear students it is called as a weak base let's go ahead and study properties of the bases the very first property that the bases have bitter taste second bases feel soapy to touch they are slippery and they are soapy to touch if we feel the third property bases turns red litmus blue fourth property bases conduct electricity in solution so we say that they are electrolytes let's move ahead bases react with some metal i'm not saying they react with all the metal but they react with some metal to form hydrogen gas now let us understand which all the metals react with the bases naoh that is a base when it reacts with zinc metal so we are making zinc metal reacts with naoh let's understand what are the product for reaction to happen we have to slightly heat it that is how you see arrow on top there is a sign of heat let's understand what are the products 
Now, when this two react, the product is sodium zincate, whose molecular formula is Na2ZnO2, and its name is sodium zincate, which is a salt. Along with this, there is an evolution of hydrogen gas. So, very few metal displace hydrogen from a given base. We will learn many more properties about bases in the next module.